Okay, so in this video, I want to introduce you to moments, okay? So this section is all to do about moments, um, and really to kind of explain it, moments are all about uh, turning force, okay? So another way of describing a moment would be its turning force. So let's say, so what I've done here is I've got my ruler, and I've got a bit of blue tack on the end, okay? And I'm just popping it straight on the, on the uh, whiteboard like that, okay? Now, what we're going to try and do is we're going to apply some forces to this ruler, okay? And we're going to try it at different points. So my blue tack's in the middle of the ruler, okay? Or close enough. Now, if I try and apply a force, uh, let's say, uh, equal and opposite forces, pushing the ruler from the top and the bottom, and you can see, you know, pushing as I can, right, I'm not moving the ruler, okay? So if I go directly for the middle, okay, I'm not moving it. If I move it so that actually I've got one force pointing down here and one force pointing up here, can you think of what's going to happen, right? It doesn't take much before I'm swiveling the ruler around, okay? Now, what does this mean, right? Well, the thing is that I'm applying the same amount of force, but at different points to this object, OK? And consequently, I can measure that amount that I am putting upon the object in question, OK? So if I take that down, let's also think about another example. You know, I, I don't have... Um, uh, a spanner, so I'm going to use a ruler, right? You've got to kind of imagine that this is a spanner, okay? And I've got this uh, nut that I need to uh, twist around, okay? So what I'm going to do is if I was going to hold my spanner and I was going to un, um, undo the nut, then what I would probably be doing naturally is I would hold my spanner right at the end, okay? So um, I'd be trying to do that, okay, in that kind of motion, right? So lefty-loosey, right? Lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. So I'd be trying to undo the nut going that way around. I would have a harder time if I was trying to hold my spanner there, okay? So I'm putting the same pressure on, but it's, it's, it's a harder amount of work to try and do that. OK, so the turning effect that I'm applying, if I'm holding the spanner there, is going to be less than if I'm holding it there. OK, it's the same reason, you know, if you, uh, if you go to uh, open a door, you go for the furthest point on the door to open it. OK, you don't go for like the closest bit to the hinge, because then it's going to cause you more work in order to do it. Okay, you're lazy, you're going to go for the uh, furthest point along. Okay? So this idea of a moment being measured is what we are interested in, this turning effect. Okay? So if you've got a point, let's call it O, and you've got a force being applied, call that F, then the moment is the force times by the perpendicular distance from the force to the point that you're measuring the moment around. OK? So the moment about O is equal to the force times distance. And consequently, because forces are measured in newtons, and the distance will be measured in metres, a moment has the units newton metres. OK? Now, depending on which way you're turning round, so if you go back to that spanner, right, and which way you're moving, gives you a different sense of direction. And we call the sense 
okay? Because you'll either get a sense that is clockwise or anti-clockwise or counterclockwise if you, if you prefer. Okay, so clockwise or anti-clockwise. And we take one to be positive and one to be negative. Now, a clockwise motion, so going around in that direction, we take to be negative. Whereas an anti-clockwise motion, we take to be positive. So when we're combining moments, okay, we want to determine is it clockwise or is it anti-clockwise and consequently one will be positive and one will be negative okay so that's also to be taken into account so what we we'll want to do is just to start off with is a few basic examples so you can see how we can calculate the moment about a particular point